Hello and welcome, this is Daisy. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add pictures into letters. For this process, we're going to use the free graphic design program, Inkscape. But before we start with the tutorial, I would like to invite you to subscribe to my channel, like my video, and press the notification bell. And let's start. Let's go to Inkscape, click on File, Document Properties, this window will pop up. Here we're going to select the size of the paper or the Canva we're going to work with. I'm going to work on letter size and on landscape. And I'm going to close the window. Whatever we designed in this rectangle is going to be printable. Okay, let's go to this A over here. We're going to start inserting the text. And here, I'm going to type the font I'm going to be using. I like Impact because this one is a thick font and it's perfect to insert pictures. We're going to work on the word mom. I'm going to make it as big as I can. Now I'm going to go to file, import, select the picture you wish to use and open it and click OK. This picture, we're going to send it to the back. And we're going to adjust it so it fits in the letters. I like to put the faces inside the letters. Select both, go to Object, Clip, and Set. And here we have the letters with pictures. Now this is the option with one picture only. If you want to use one picture for each letter, the process is similar, but we're going to do it one by one. I'm going to show you in a little bit. Now here, I'm going to show you how to add an offset. Duplicate this one, put one on the side, select on one, go to object, clip, and release. Now, delete the picture here with the scissors. And on this one, we're going to go to Path, Object to Path, Object, and Group. So now the letters are separate. But for this particular design, we're going to go to Path again and click on Union. Now it's only one layer. Now that is only one layer. We're going to go to Path again and click on Link Offset. You're going to see this diamond over here. Let's go to the lower right corner and maximize it as much as you can. But keep an eye on the diamond. Now stretch it outside to make the offset. Minimize it again. Now we have two layers over here. We're going to use this arrow to select the items. This one over here, the one on the top. So I'm going to select the letters in the center and delete. Now I'm going to bring 
the photo letters and place them on top. Look how they pop. Now select both layers and we're going to align and center. Click over here and click on align and distribute. Now we're going to click on Align Vertical and Horizontal. Now they are both centered. Now we're going to go back to Object and Group. This way we have only one layer and it won't move. As you can see, it's very easy to add pictures to your letters with Inkscape. And I like to add the offset so the pictures pop up. So now I'm going to show you the second option. On that one, we're going to put pictures on each letter. I'm going to place that one on the side, go to font, I'm going to type mom again, go to this arrow, and stretch it the way we need. Now go to path, object to path, object and ungroup. Now we have them separate. Okay, so I'm going to put the last two on the side and we're going to start working with this one. Let's go to File, Import. Okay, I'm going to select on this one. I'm going to do it one by one because it doesn't let us insert more than one picture. Open and OK. This picture is pretty big, so I'm going to make it smaller. I can just resize it on the arrows over here, but I can also go here. I'm going to change it to inches. As you can see, it's 20 inches high and 20 inches wide. I'm going to click on this lock and change it to 7 inches. Perfect. So I'm going to send it to the back and I'm going to place the letter on top. Select both, go to Object, Clip, and Set. And we have the first letter over here. And the same we're going to do with the next one. File, Import, I'm going to select the same one. You can use different pictures if you wish. Object, clip, set. And here we have all of them. Look. And we're going to align them horizontally. So it's ready. Now, if we wish, we can add an offset. Look, we have two options. The one with one picture in all the letters and the one with different pictures on the letters. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like my video and press the notification bell. Thank you for your visit and I'll see you in my next tutorial.